Phil Gowen can't bring himself to talk about it in detail, but says when he was a teenager, he was sexually abused by a Catholic priest. Nobody should have to deal with what I've dealt with for 15 years, the way that I felt, and no child should ever have to go through this again. After years of silence, Gowen is publicly filing suit against top officials in the Philadelphia Archdiocese. One of those named in his civil lawsuit is Monsignor William Lynn. Lynn is already facing charges in a separate criminal case. For 12 years, Lynn was in charge of recommending work assignments for priests in the Philadelphia Archdiocese. The district attorney believes Lynn knowingly recommended abusive priests be reassigned without ever warning the parishes. And they did in fact reoffend. They did in fact rape and sodomize other children. Monsignor Lynn has now become the first high-ranking U.S. church official ever to face criminal child endangerment charges for allegedly covering up abuse. But prosecutors say there are other problems. Allegations against Lynn resulted from a 124-page grand jury report that concludes apparent abusers, dozens of them we believe, remain on duty in the archdiocese today with open access to new young prey. For now, the archdiocese has suspended three priests, but according to the report, 34 others accused of abuse or inappropriate behavior with minors remain in active ministry. The archdiocese has hired a former prosecutor to re-examine past cases. I will not turn my back on evidence of a cover-up. The archdiocese is not commenting on the recent legal action, but church officials have vowed to do better. We have now taken action and we hope that our actions speak to our resolve. That's little comfort to Phil Gowen, who hopes by coming forward, he's giving children the protection he never had. Elaine Quijano, CBS News, Philadelphia.